Now to another Hugs queen Central. of daytime talk, Ellen DeGeneres. <laughs> we sat down with her on the set of her show to discuss everything from her marriage, her new NBC sitcom, and of course, her love of practical jokes. Since we have a little recent history with a, with a prank that you pulled on me and on Al, yep. I want to ask you about pranks and practical jokes. You seem to revel in them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Where did that come from, that love of them? Now, Monday morning. Well, it's not like I grew up playing pranks on people and I was not that girl in school. I was very shy in school and I didn't do things like this. I think it really is because I can, <laughs> because we have so many opportunities to scare people or to surprise people. <laughs> It's a very uh, immature thing, for sure. Um, childish. Practical joker, successful talk show host. Ellen has now added sitcom executive producer to the growing list of things to do. Her new show, One Big Happy, premieres tonight on NBC. Oh, no, I'm his wife. Yeah, I'm his lesbian best friend. She's having his baby. We all live together. So with this show, One Big Happy, you're executive producer. Yes. I, I don't think a lot of people exactly know what an executive producer does. Well. So in, in this context, what is an EP? Do you approve the sets? Do you approve the, the costume? I mean, how involved are you? I brush their hair. Yeah. I don't, I don't do everything, but I brush their hair uh -huh. in the morning. Make all the clothes? Um, I don't make all of them. I do make some. Yeah. And, uh, and I'll vacuum at night if it's dirty. But no, I don't get involved with everything. Um, I, uh, I do read the scripts, and I do have notes. The main character in, in the show is gay. Did you have any doubts about people who would say, here she goes again, she's going to do a show with a lesbian main character? I think that the story is bigger than that. I think the story is about best friends, and here's a woman who happens to be gay, who wants to have a child. My story on my sitcom was about someone who realized she was gay and came out, and what were the repercussions of that? I'm gay. And this is a whole different thing. This is just a matter of fact. Uh, I'm gay, and I want to have a kid. Would you like to have kids? I think I would. But I, that's not enough to have a kid. I love kids, but that's a, that's such a big commitment, and it's such a it's such a it seems long term. It seems like it, <laughs> it's something. It seems like a commitment that you have to stick with, and I just don't know if I can. And I don't. It's it's too risky. Like, what if I don't like the kid? <laughs> what if it turns out that it's not as cute as I wanted, or as talented as I'm going to compare it to all these kids that I have on the show that are so smart and so funny? And I'm like, you are nowhere near these kids I had on today. It's be one look at this kid. kid. Sit down and look at that kid I just had on. Can you do? Do you know all those presidents? Never say never. I think you'd be an amazing mom. Yeah, I'm getting too old. No, you're not. Listen, I, they're, they're cute, those little kids, but no. One of the things I've admired about you over the years, as it seems to me, and you can disagree if you want, but I'm that, going to. Okay, well, well, let me get it out okay. first. It seems to me that the trend in humor in this country has trended toward the mean. You've never embraced that kind of humor. Mm -mm. Consciously, or is it just something you don't find funny? Um, I've never found it funny. I've always been extremely sensitive, even when I was a little girl. Every time I'm around you when the cameras aren't rolling, you talk about Portia. And I have read things about you and your relationship where people try to tear it down. Yeah. Thick skin on that? Um, there, ha there doesn't even need to be a skin because it's not real. I don't, I'm just more flabbergasted by the fact that someone needs to make up a story. There's never been a, a point where we were breaking up or divorcing or fighting or none of these stories are even remotely true and I don't know the magazines and I don't have a publicist so I don't know. You and don't have a publicist? No, because I, I, I just decided. That's astonishing. Yeah. I have a very small team around me. I have a gardener and I have, <laughs> um, but I, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't want to know that stuff. So when someone does bring it up to me and I'm like, really? Like, that, and I, so I don't know how many times they've said we've broken up, but I know that they have. How long on this show? How much longer will you go on this show? I, I can't answer that question right now. I really can't. Do you still get out of bed every day excited to come here and do this? I get out of bed every day, and, <laughs> and I'm excited. That, that promise you can yes, make? Yes, I do get out of bed every day. And, and, I, and some days I'm tired, and some days, even when I'm tired, I get here. And you, you know, the audience is unbelievable. When are you going to walk out here one day? What will be the sign that it's time not to do this anymore? 
when there are, are this, when there are this many people in the audience. <laughs> when, when you've got sick, a, a, a when, smattering of six people. When we only people. have seven people here, I'll know it's time to go because this is not enough to to really fill it up. I hope she keeps doing it for a long time. She's yeah. so good at it. If you ever stand there and watch her in action with an audience, she's one of the best I've ever seen. She's amazing. I think Ellen has done for daytime TV what I think Fallon has done for late night. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's just so unique, yeah. brings so much to it, so much creativity. It's great. Her she's openness is refreshing, too, and just can't get mm -hmm. enough of her. By the way, you can catch the series premiere of One Big Happy from executive producer Ellen DeGeneres. That's tonight, 9.30, 8.30 Central, right here on NBC. Thank you.